It is Friday, which means it's time to get you all caught up on everything that mattered in gaming this week. You guys seem to love getting stuff for free, so here's how you can weasel your way into the Division beta on PS4 without parting with any of your dollars. Unfortunately, we recently discovered that this sneaky method of beta access no longer works. But earlier this week, you could search for the game on the PlayStation Store, click pre-order, and then select pre-order and pay. Then you'd search for and download The Division's beta client, after which you could locate your pre-order transaction through the settings menu and cancel it. Congratulations to those of you who paid attention earlier on this week and managed to grab it. Those of you with a taste for brutal games will be happy to hear we got a little more info about Dark Souls 3 this week. Bandai Namco released a series of screenshots that show off a whole bunch of new and terrifying crap. That includes a new box named Eardex Gundir who wields a massive spear and will be encountered by players in a location called the Untended Graves. The images also showcase the Firelink Shrine which serves as a starting area for new players. Dark Souls 3 is due out on April 12th in the West. Poor Peter Molyneux was the victim of a Twitter hack this week which led his followers to believe he was taking Gotus down from Steam and retiring. The string of fake tweets was a bit too real, reading, This is also the time I would like to announce my retirement from the games industry. It has been a long journey for me. Thank you. Overall, my time in the industry has been bittersweet. However, my biggest mistake was Fable 3. It pushed me and my team to the limits. Fortunately, the confusion was over quickly when the real Peter Molyneux stood up and tweeted, Ah, oh, my account has been hacked. You can tell because they know how to spell. I am not retiring, not closing goddess. Sony and Microsoft have announced the free games you can pick up next month with their respective online subscriptions. On PS4, you can grab yourself Nom Nom Galaxy, while PS3 users can pick up Grid Autosport and the Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. And PS Vita players will be able to get Nova 111 and Lemmings Touch. On top of that, the exceptionally fun Helldivers is available across all three platforms for free with your subscription. If you have an Xbox Live Gold subscription, you can grab Hand of Fate throughout next month and Styx Master of Shadow between February 16 and March 15 on Xbox One. On Xbox 360, you can pick up Sacred Citadel in the first half of the month and Gears of War 2 in the second. Finally, EA revealed a bunch of interesting stats in their latest earnings call on Thursday. The publisher revealed that Star Wars Battlefront has shipped more than 13 million copies, which is coincidentally the number that EA announced they'd expected the game would ship. It's worth noting that this figure represents the number of copies that have been shipped to retailers and not those sold through to consumers. Overall, the company posted almost 600 million bucks in profit for the last quarter and revealed that Star Wars The Old Republic has reached its highest subscriber level in three years. Let me know down in that comment section what you cared about this week and if you're getting stuck into the Division beta. This week I talked to you about some super sad games on the gist, we take a look at games that have gone missing this year, and Things You Missed takes a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer. That is everything I wanted to tell you about this week. As always, be sure to have yourselves a lovely weekend, and I will catch you again on Monday.